Chapter 1 Removal of Carbon Dioxide In everyday life, we all give out carbon dioxide. This chapter explains how the body removes this carbon dioxide and how we keep our internal conditions constant so that we don't have too little or too much of any substance. The scientific word we give to keeping our internal organs in balance is homeostasis. If we break the word up, we see that it's made up of homo, which is Greek for the same, and stasis, which means stable state. Therefore, homeostasis means to keep the body in the same state. Our bodies make sure we don't have too much or too little of anything, such as carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide is a product of respiration, which is the process that breaks down glucose, a type of sugar, into energy. This means that when we breathe in, oxygen travels through the lungs, into the bloodstream, and then to the cells. In the cells, oxygen combines with glucose in the mitochondria. Mitochondria are microscopic bodies in the cytoplasm, which is the jelly-like part of cells. They are responsible for respiration, and this ensures we have enough energy to move around and to live. As a byproduct of respiration, we produce carbon dioxide. Byproduct is the word given to something made by a reaction that isn't useful. We need to remove it from the body so that we can maintain our internal conditions. Therefore, carbon dioxide isn't a toxin, but it is unwanted. The body carries it around in the plasma of the blood, where it's detected by receptors. Receptors, like a type of sensor, are found in some of your blood vessels and the brain. The receptors sense that the body has too much carbon dioxide and ensure that it takes action to remove it. If you hold your breath, it's the build-up of carbon dioxide that makes you breathe again, not the lack of oxygen. So, how does the body remove carbon dioxide? Well, if you exercise, you breathe a lot faster and it's the build-up of carbon dioxide that stimulates this. The receptors receive stimuli, which are changes in the environment, telling us that the level of carbon dioxide has increased. Messages are sent from the receptors through sensory neurons to the relay neurons in the spine. Neurons are nerve cells that carry information around. The relay neurons are short neurons that transfer messages and impulses in the spine to bypass the brain. The messages are then sent back down the motor neurons to your intercostal muscles, located between the ribs and to the diaphragm. The response of the muscles is to contract faster and for longer. This change in breathing rate not only increases the amount of oxygen that's needed by the mitochondria to support an exercising body, but more importantly, it removes excess carbon dioxide. The carbon dioxide then passes into the blood plasma, diffuses into the lungs and is exhaled. So to summarise, carbon dioxide made by cells has to be removed. Receptors sense that there is too much carbon dioxide in the body and so increases the breathing rate.